Well, we're continuing to make more improvements on our bus, Lenny, the 1947 Greyhound bus. If you remember, we had problems with the leaf springs. That wheel well was so saggy. And then we replaced the leaf springs last year. And you can see how much higher the wheel is in the well now. But people then complained that we have these ugly, painted, chipped, and rusty steel wheels on there. So they were saying, put Alcoa's on there. Somebody said that. And I'm like, well, you know what? Alcoa's are nice. They're pretty and they're shiny. We actually have, have a set around here. These were the inner wheels, though, on a bus, so they've never been polished. They're like 40 years old, and we gotta flip them around the other way, and they're so dirty and corroded. So we'll see if we can get them cleaned up here enough to, to put them on the bus, but they, they're pitted, and uh, this is not the way you wanna start with a rim. I'm gonna try out this cleaner on some aluminum rims. So they're going to be used full strength. Spray it on, wipe the surface with a cloth, allow it to penetrate, then rinse with water. Safe for aluminum, I saw. Let's see what we did, how this does here. This thing is definitely dirty. See it just like eating away anything. I thought it might. Yeah. Yeah, this. Thick, thick crap down there. Gonna let that soak a while. <laughs> Let it sit. Pretty labor intensive. <laughs> Back to the before picture of this. I mean, it, this is like wheel seal leak inside there for years and heat from the brake cycles and everything. So this oil and grease and stuff is just baked on there. So we're gonna have to try a new approach here.
slowly getting to where it can be polished soon. <laughs> good enough for now and we'll take it to a professional and have him finish it the right way. <laughs> I called every tire shop that deals with semi wheels in the area and nobody polishes wheels. They referred me to one place in Nashville that does. That place said that they're backed up by eight weeks. Uh, so that wasn't going to happen. It's just apparently something that's hard to get done. I would love, you know, so now that they're clean enough to get on the bus, then I can send them somewhere eventually and, you know, take the bus somewhere and have them get them polished. This is funny, I had my buddy back me up onto the pit. I said, let's stop right at the front of the pit. But he wasn't paying attention to the inner tire. He's not looking at the outer tire. <laughs> so the outer tire was safely on, on good ground, but once we took the outer tire off, it looked really scary. Lenny with his new shiny, new, ha, his 40 year old Alcoas that have never once been washed or cleaned. They were an inner before. Get the right guy to polish them and they'll look really good though. Well, they don't look horrible on there. It looks, it's definitely an improvement. Just gotta get them polished, like I said. But uh, it's a good start. It, it looks, it's an improvement. Lenny's starting to really look sharp. <laughs> 